In this video, we're going to be using Bear Stern Men Legrand Sheep Pro and the Carbon Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. And obviously I am not at home. I'm down in Charlotte uh, due to my mother being in the hospital. So we're hoping for the best there and I am tired as you might be able to see. I slept very little last night, but I got to get up. I got to get my day going, got to shave. So may as well make a, a video and sort of try to enjoy it. As mentioned before today, we're going to be using Barrister Men Le Grand Chypre. And I really like the scent on this. It has a nice citrus forward uh, scent and on the back end there's things like patchouli, peach, rose, which rose I'm normally not a fan of and I'm so-so on patchouli, but this one comes together beautifully. We'll show you the notes on the screen right there. Again, I get the citrus up front and a little of the other stuff uh, in the back like the oak moss. It's well-rounded. It's very, very nice. This one is, uh, it's definitely in the pricey range. It is $24. 99 for four ounces on our cost chart there that is painful so maybe some of the ingredients in this soap makes it more expensive than usual it's a tallow based soap we'll put the ingredients for you right there very easy to lather very easy to work with i certainly like that and with that let's get going today we're going to miss the face here maybe do um two passes because it's hot in here those lights up there i got to change those lights they're just driving me nuts the light bulbs anyway so we have a pretty good lather here with our AP Shave Co. brush, which is what I chose to travel with this time. I hope everyone is doing well. Oof, I had a great difficulty sleeping last night. I'm going to have to go get some melatonin or something because I had trouble. And I apologize for the quality of this video. The lighting's not very good in here. And what lighting there is, they're like little heaters up there, those bulbs. I can just feel the heat coming off them and... That is no good at all, but we'll try to remain <laughs> positive about the shave. I'm using the Carbon today, Carbon Razor, the CX316L, I think it is, which is one of my favorite razors. It's a beautiful shaver, and I haven't used it for a while, and so it was time to give it a go, and so we shall. All right, there we go. Good enough on the lathering front there. Set that brush aside without knocking things over and get going today, and again, I hope you're all well. I'm doing well so far. We've had a rough go the last few weeks, my wife and I, with family health. It's really been rough. If you haven't been following it, uh, my wife's mother, my mother-in-law, is in the hospital. She was in very bad shape um, about a week ago, but she's doing better, thankfully. My brother just got out of the hospital. He's doing, a, he's doing better, thank goodness, and yesterday, my mother was admitted to the hospital, so it's a lot, but we're trying to remain positive, and man, that feels good. One thing about it, these shaves, they always feel great, and although I didn't sleep much last night, this just feels nice, so very, very enjoyable, even though I'm tired and visibly tired, most likely. This is always nice. And this will sort of make me feel better and get me going. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna keep this one today probably to two passes, just because it has a tendency to get quite warm in here. And then I'll start sweating and then that's not very enjoyable. <laughs> uh, man, the carbon's such a terrific razor. Normally I don't like long handles, but on this razor it's perfect. Absolutely love it. The way it tapers, feels great in the hand. This is a magnificent shaver. And this is just a regular plate. Every time I use the uh, carbon razor, someone will ask what plate I'm using and how does it compare to others? How does it compare to the other plates? I don't know, because I don't have them. <laughs> but this one, I do have, and it is magnificent. It's an expensive, razor but it's one that I really enjoy and it was it's definitely one of my you know it was in my top 10 list as far as razors went remember that magnificent 11 razors video if you haven't seen that I'll link it below for you really really nice razor all right that first pass was absolutely beautiful and I'm waking up a little bit which I really needed to do because uh I tell you 
I was groggy. It took me forever to get to sleep last night. And then by the time I got to sleep, it seemed like it was time to wake up. So nice lather on the Barrister Man. I've never had any uh, quality issues with Barrister Man. I don't find it finicky to lather whatsoever. And this scent is fantastic. It is pricey. But this is one of those scents that for me, it's worth the price because it's truly unique. I can't recall using anything like this. And so for me, it's, it's uh, you know, I don't have any buyer's remorse, even though it's pricey. And I assume it's pricey because some of the scenting oils or essential oils or whatever they're using are more pricey in this particular soap. So keep that in mind. Sometimes you'll have things from Bear's Man that's a little bit pricier, but for the most part, their soaps are affordable and not in the, this range. But this is a nice one. And again, I apologize for the lighting. You can't see as well in this uh, video, I'm sure. Relative to the lighting I have at home, which is much better. But we, we move on, we get our shaves in, and we try to enjoy ourselves. Oh, yeah. Man, this stuff smells good. I like it. I like it a lot. But we won't spend all day pulling around with the lather here. I could have put a little more hydration in that lather, I think, but... Again, I'm running, I'm running on fumes this morning. <laughs> so forgive me on that one. Let's get that cut back just a little bit more. And we will move to our against the grain pass. Normally I would do an across the grain pass on pass two, but like I said, in today's shave, we're gonna just go straight to against the grain in the interest, interest of shaving, shaving a little bit of time. <laughs> Saving a little bit of time or shaving a little bit of time. That works too, actually. So no problem there. Man, this is a magnificent razor, this carbon. I don't know why I don't use it more. Actually, I do know why I don't use, don't use it more because I have so many razors to rotate through. But this one is certainly fantastic. It is a great, great shaver. And I enjoy using it. Um, Mel and Nate were big fans of this razor. And they kind of put me onto it. Actually, Nate sent me his version. Of this razor, we'll go ahead and just do a clean up cross real quickly there. I'll just get that. But um, after I borrowed Nate's, I was like, I gotta get one of these. This is a nice razor. And they have different plates with different exposures and so on. But this is just the standard offering which for me is very good. I like this one. The blade for today's Willies. I don't know if I mentioned that at the beginning or not. Comes in a wrapper like that. I can't remember. But it's a nice fit for this. You do get some blade feel here on the standard carbon plate, but it's not menacing. And I know they have plus plates and plus plus and who knows what, but this one is just standard and I've had no um, desire to try the other plates because this one just really hits the spot. I don't think I need any more efficiency than this and the amount of blade feel is just perfect for me. So this one hits a very um, sweet spot for me. So I don't feel the need to tinker with plates on this one, although you can get others. And they do at carbon from from time to time smell sell like seconds or one or versions that aren't entirely perfect if you look on the website there's a section somewhere for you know there might be a little pinhole or some imperfection in the razor that doesn't at all affect affect the use and that's what i have here and you can't even tell unless you look at the base plate it's a little hole and i believe this plate belonged to lord shady on insta because he uh he bought one and it had that um, little like pinhole, just a little tiny, but he paid retail. And when you pay retail for this, which is I think around $250, you know, you want it to be perfect. And so he sent that plate back and that was good for me because I was able to snatch it up at a discount. But man, oh man, what a razor this is. We're just doing a little bit of Clean up here on that Barrister Man Residual Slickness. Terrific soap. Terrific scent. Terrific.
terrific soap and terrific shave, despite the conditions not being what I would like. <laughs> Today, really, really nice. All right, that was an excellent shave. Let me rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, we are back and off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap and then we applied the alum and I'm using a Razor Rock alum stick travel that I've had for years and years. No burning, so that was a super smooth shave. Followed that with a cool water rinse and then we applied our Thayer's. This is just Thayer's cucumber in a spray bottle. Magic, because it's made by witches. Had an excellent shave today with Barrister Man Legrand Sheeper. Really, really nice scent. I love it. It's pricey, but I still love it. It was really a great shave. The carbon was spectacular as always. Just a terrific premium razor. I absolutely loved it. And we used the Willys uh, blade, which is a really nice blade, I think. And we've had an excellent shave. We're going to close it out today with Seaforth Spice. I had to bring a little sunshine. I'm in need. <laughs> so I brought it with me. Also brought the Undersea. Those are the only two. I might actually have a Sterling after shave two Mountain Man, but boy, we're going to get it going today. And just get a little sunshine in a bottle here. This is the C4 C Spice Lime. Oh man, whew. I love this scent. This is just fantastic. I absolutely love it. And with that, we have had an excellent shave. I hope wherever you are, this video finds you well. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.